Okay, folks. Our next match has been uh, this match has been brewing for a little while now. Ever since Ben Jamal was on commentary. Actually, before that, you go back before that. This match has been boiling since uh, since Ben Jamal and Officer Z challenged Clowning Around. I'm sorry, Clowning Around challenged Officer Z and Ben Jamal for those tag titles in the first place. Those two had an intense war of words, followed by a clowning around victory for those tag titles, which led Ben Jamin and Officer Z down the path they went down. Here comes Bozo to show him. He gets to finally go one-on-one -on -one with Ben Jamin. Here he comes, folks. All the kids are horrified. The psychopath is not your typical clown. He's kind of fucking nuts, to be honest with you. There he goes. He just... All uh, right. Bozo! The Sean, folks. He's got the Elton John glasses and everything. Uh, you know. Hashtag Lynch Kitchen for all your food needs. His opponent. Here he comes. The one, the only, Ben Jamin. Make wrestling great again. That's his mission statement, folks. Finally gonna settle this. I don't know about settle this feud, but finally gonna head one on one with Bozo the Sean. Now, these two were both in the Elimination Chamber matches last week. Bozo and Sean had a chance to win the number one contendership and failed the world title. Ben Jamin was involved in the silverweight uh, title match in the six-man elimination chamber. He lost. So, with nothing else to do, I gotta figure something out for the head of the pay-per-view. But, we will finally get Ben Jamin versus Bozo the Sean. Ah, Ben Jamin wants Harry back. I forgot about that. Oh, well. To add that later. Okay. Start. All right, folks. Bell is wrong right away. Ben Jamin showing that, that strength. Whipping Bozo the Sean into the corner and add a backbreaker on the bad back of the bad clown. But wait, nope. Arm drag from Bozo the Sean. And he's going to hit a big right hand. And another leg suplex. I'm telling you, folks, he looks ridiculous, but the clown is dangerous. And I'm thinking Ben Jamin might find that out tonight. We'll find out. Slipped into the ropes, and... Whoop! Ah, sweep your leg! And another sweep of the leg! Okay! That... Ben, Jam ben Jamin... Rolls him over to the center of the ring and hits the leg drop across the throat. Well, even the clown needs to breathe. He closed that esophagus, he closed that the, the ability to breathe off in the ring, and it doesn't matter if you're a human or a clown. Well, oh, he missed his big stop. The Bozo the Sean unable to take advantage of it. Ooh, and a chest breaker. And Bozo the Sean is in trouble here. That whipped round and the center of the ring. Ooh, and a high angle suplex. Just getting around the back and neck. And the belly to belly. What a Ben Jamin is now just dominating this match. Those are the show demanded this match after winning weeks and weeks and weeks. And so far, this is not going according to plan. Ooh, he hits the elbow. Does he have a top rope maneuver? He does! He hits the big splash! Yeah. Oh, he's trying to take it up the leg. Not a bad strategy from the clown. Ooh! But he hits an elbow. Ben Jamin spins him around. Spins him around again. And picks him back up. That chest breaker again! He's absolutely targeting this clown's ability to breathe. Spins him around and uh, just a front suplex. That gentleman's just overpowering this clown. 
And a boy, knee to right across the throat. Well, Ben Jamin's strategy so far is paying off here. He's just out muscling the clown and ooh, a gut wrench, a gut wrench power bomb. He's gonna hook the leg. That might be it for Bozo the Shaw. One, two, ooh, Bozo the Shaw kicked out, but. Unless he turns things around and quickly, this match is pretty much going the way it's going. Oh, wait, wait, what's this? Oh, they went for the suplex, but Ben Jamming blocked it and hits a big clothesline instead. Bozo the Sean wanted this. Ooh. But Bozo the Sean is getting picked apart here. Oh, wait a minute. Bozo the Sean firing up. Ooh, well, he was firing up. He just got the spine buster. Well, back is clearly, uh, clearly not. Oh, ooh, but, ooh, a rake of the eyes from Bozo the Sean. What's he got going on here? Lifts up Benjamin. Oh, he's got his own chest breaker. But clearly, he's taking a lot of damage. Unable to capitalize right away. Spins him around. Punch the cool story, bro. Kick right to the ass. The clown, I don't think Bozo the Sean really has the strategy here. I think he let Mouth get him in a situation that they can't, he just can't handle. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, that's probably it, folks. Listen up. Yep, he's going up for the jackhammer. Oh, right in the center of the ring. That might be it for the clown. One, two, three. Bozo the Sean falls to his, to his uh, nemesis, Benjamin. Bozo the Sean demanded this match for weeks. He campaigned and lobbied for this match. This is the gut wrench power bomb in the center of the ring. And after all that, Benjamin just pretty much crushed him. To his credit, he was able to kick out of the gut wrench by power bomb, but he locks in the jackhammer, lifts him up, and with ease, one arm right in the middle of the ring, and that was it for Bo's other Sean. One, two, three. He's counting clowns coming out of a clown car, I assume, instead of sheep. He's out, folks. He's out like sauerkraut. 